everyone, this is Esmin Amdrabu from Bundesberg University Munich, and today I'll be presenting our atrophotator gaze meter, exploring the usage of gaze behavior to enhance password assessment. Until now, text-based passwords are still among the most commonly used authentication techniques. However, people are still not selecting from passwords. It has been understood by the Israel security community that there is a misconception uh, in, uh, for people what makes a strong password. And this is actually due to creation of password rules and policies that are inconsistent and misleading, ultimately resulting in such strong perception. And for this, different service providers employ password meters to give an estimate of, for the participants of the created password strength. However, people until now are still facing the situation where they create a password they thought to be strong and then it's not accepted by the interface, um, showing that there is an inconsistency between both perceptions. And this demonstrates the need to develop a better mechanism to make users choose stronger passwords. We see particular potential in mechanisms that not only take into account the actual strength of the passwords, but also how people perceive it. And for this, uh, let's differentiate between actual password strengths, um, like reflected by the uh, password meter and the perceived password strength by the participants. And this table demonstrates the mismatch and implication of such uh, thing. And here we have four dimensions. If both the system and the user have the same, uh, the same idea about the password to be strong or weak, then there is no action needed actually here. However, it gets more interesting if we go to the other, the other side. If the system sees the password to be strong and the perceived password is weak, then there is no harm caused here. However, it's a very good opportunity to start teaching participants how to create strong passwords. However, it becomes more problematic on the other side where the password is perceived to be strong and the system uh, uh, perceives it to be weak. Here, it's 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 really useful not only to show participants how to make strong passwords, but also to enforce them to create one. And in our work, um, uh, our work is meant to identify cases where actual password trend, strength and perceived password strength are in odds. And since uh, eyes are the window to the soul, in this paper we investigate the use of gaze behavior as a means to assess perceived password strength. Our approach is based on the assumptions that the cognitive process while creating weak and strong passwords differ, and uh, it's influencing it's influencing uh, users' uh, physiological response and behavior reflected in, for example, the gaze uh, behavior. And um, for this, uh, we did a lab, uh, a proof of concept lab study, repeated measures within subject design, actually. And uh, we asked participants to create and enter 12 passwords, six weak and six strong. And throughout our study, we used to input modalities in laptop and smartphone, and we used Tobili eye tracker, wearable eye tracker, to collect users' gaze data. And the reason for choosing two input devices is to see whether our approach is uh, generalizable across different um, input techniques. And uh, we invited 15 participants to our lab and we ate value between 22 to 31. And for the procedure, when they first entered the lab, we asked them to sign in the consent and demographics form. And then we calibrated the eye tracking using the one point calibration technique by, you, by Toby. And then we asked participants to create weak and strong passwords, balance it on a, a Latin uh, square. And after each one of them, we asked them to rate it on a Likert scale from one to five. And throughout our study, we had a couple of variables and we had one independent variable, which is the input device, laptop and smartphone. And we had a couple of dependent variables, which we tracked throughout the study, which are, for example, gaze, gaze features, password entry duration, password meter strength, rated password strength, and of course, the curated password for the uh, participants themselves. For the results, we started comparing the participants rated password strength to the uh, strength meter. And we found, uh, we found difference between both. However, this difference is not statistically significant. We also, um, we also checked the modality effect of the, on the password strength. And we also did not find any statistical difference between participants rated passwords and the meter rating for both weak and strong password. This suggests that there is no difference between the system rated strength and the, our participants perceived uh, rated passwords estimates. And uh, in addition, it also shows that the input modality did not really affect the strength of the passwords created in our study. And furthermore, next we tested uh, the effect of the input modality on the gaze features using an overtest. We found that entering weak passwords on laptops induced, induced less fixations on the screen and more fixations on the, on the keyboard, and also smaller pupil diameter on the smart, uh, smartphone. 
and for strong passwords, uh, entering strong passwords on laptop induced uh, shorter fixations, longer saccades, and more fixation on the keyboard, as well as less fixation on the screens compared to the smartphone situation. And for uh, to understand the influence of password strength on the gaze features, we also run the repeated measures in NOVA on the gaze features for both laptop and smartphone. For laptops, we found that entering weak password on, on the laptops induced longer fixation duration, shorter saccadic length, smaller pupil diameter, fewer fixations on the screen, and more fixations on the keyboard. Uh, however, for the smartphone situation, we did not find any statistical difference uh, or statistical effect of the password trends on the gaze um, behavior. This might be due to the small uh, small screen of the laptop, small screen of the smartphone, hence less data collected. And since we found uh, promising results from the statistical analysis, we thought to run a machine learning model to see if we can actually differentiate between both weak and strong passwords from users' gaze behavior. And for this, we ran two, two uh, classifiers, user-dependent and user-independent uh, classifiers. And we did both so we can understand if we can achieve better accuracy with the user-dependent classifier or not. And in our, uh, in our analysis, we compared between three different class classifiers, SVM, random forest, and decision trees. And we found that SVM outperformed the other two classifiers. And we also found that uh, it is possible to differentiate between weak and strong passwords from users' gaze behavior. And we also found that user-dependent classifier outperformed the user-independent classifier. And we reached an accuracy of 86% for the smartphone and 80% for the laptop to differentiate between weak and strong passwords. And for our work implications, uh, our approach supports the design of novel interfaces that make people use stronger passwords. We can also use the knowledge of password strength for new concepts that, for example, only allows users to register passwords if their strength matches the sensitivity of the data that needs to be protected. And finally, uh, future work can use our knowledge or our concept to other knowledge-based uh, authentication techniques such as log patterns and image-based approaches. And finally, to conclude, in this work, we introduced a novel approach of using gaze behavior as an uh, additional matrix to assess password strength. We ran a lab study of 15 participants, and we found that password strength is actually reflected in users' gaze behavior. And it is possible to differentiate between weak and strong passwords with an accuracy of up to 86%. Finally, our work enabled research on novel interfaces that consider users' understanding with the goal of making users choose strong passwords. Thank you for your attention.